<gasps> what you doing, Ari? Just chilling? She thinks she's so fast, and she's not. <laughs> so I woke up today to see some surprising news. Apparently there is now some new gameplay out for Outlast 2. And even though this is like the second installment of, uh, of the game, it's a completely different setting from uh, what the first Outlast was and the DLC was, because the DLC was basically, honestly, I thought the DLC for uh, Outlast was better than the original. Just like a whole new game in itself. All right, come here. What? What's that? She's so vigilant. Look at her just stand watch. So after watching a lot of this gameplay, I realized that like the whole setting of the whole thing was just completely changed. Like before it would always take place inside of this asylum, then it would take place in like a different part of the asylum, and then like a little bit outside of the asylum. And now this one, it looks like it takes place like on farmland or maybe in like a village or something. Ari. There she comes. See, this wasn't like a, a gameplay trailer or something like that. It was just like five minutes of just like normal gameplay, I guess, and just like, you know, one of the scarier, more tense parts of the game. But they didn't really show that much. It was actually kind of like, uh, there's more of a suspense related thing. And that's kind of what Outlast did really good. Like a lot of these games now, all these indie games and all these other games that uh, other people are playing on YouTube and stuff are just like a shit ton of jump scares and stuff. Not really that much suspense. Outlast was able to do both of them perfectly. Easily one of the scariest games I've ever played, like period. Even though I was absolutely terrified of getting destroyed by the alien to the point to where I barely was able to finish the game. But other than that, I honestly just can't wait until like I can start another series so I can start double uploading and stuff again. It's honestly one of my favorite times of doing YouTube. You guys know that with how I was doing uh, Until Dawn. When I was doing Until Dawn, it was literally the funnest time I've ever had. Because not only was I just uh, uploading normal Call of Duty videos, like my normal video a day, I also had like a couple hours later just another video coming for Until Dawn. Until Dawn was love so much to where like people were actually riding and people just like saying shit like fuck call of duty just upload two until dawn videos i think one of the days i actually did triple upload because people were asking for it like i want to be able to do that you know to have something just going on in the background at the same time of me just you know casually playing and talking about things ari look get it bring it back to me ari we're still working on fetch. I'll throw her the ball and she'll go and grab it and then she'll like either walk up to me and just not put it down or just not get it at all. Figured I did a couple Call of Duty videos, you know, in a row, so figured I'd do a little vlog here with Ari. Face puppy, say hello. You guys might also notice that she looks a little bit more uh, Yorkie than she did because when we got her a little haircut, uh, I think it was like four or five days ago, she finally got the haircut around her eyes and stuff. Got her all trimmed up and everything. I'd say she's around four pounds now, maybe three and a half. From what I know, I think the heaviest that she's going to get in her life, the heaviest that she could get is like 15 pounds. Pounds. And from what the doctor told us, she's very average, very healthy and stuff. She's not too big, not too small. So she's probably going to be pretty average, you know, around like 10 pounds, 11 pounds, maybe 12. She's got another doctor's appointment in like, uh, I think it was six or seven more days. Just a little checkup and everything, make sure she's growing okay. I don't know if you guys can hear, but there are people that are screaming in the background. There's like a lady sounding like she's getting murdered inside of her house. And she stopped. Yep, she's dead. Murdered by Slenderman in broad daylight. Yeah, I mean, that's about all that's going on. Uh, I saw the uh, the Outlast gameplay and stuff like that. It looks awesome. The graphics look amazing. It looks really suspenseful. It reminds me a lot of, you know, the original Outlast. Even though it's in a completely different setting, it's like a farmland village looking type of thing. It's no longer the asylum, but really the asylum and everything like that is just not, that's not what made the game really scary. But honestly, I don't even think the setting matters because like the game is just so well made. All of the games are just so good. They're going to nail the atmosphere. I can already tell just from watching just five minutes of gameplay. Play. I could just tell it's just so immersive. So I just can't wait for that. That's about the only news I have. So I guess I'm just gonna end the vlog here. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeff, guys. Later. Say bye, Ari. All right, I'll just go fuck myself.